So this is a topic that I've been wanting to do for a while. And it has been too soon for a reason that I'll go through very quickly. Very shortly, that is. What this topic is about is how do you actually go about storing your gold and your silver? If you've got, say, a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, where where do you put it? And I'm not going to be going and saying, well, this is the only way to do it, or this is the best way, because then everybody will know that's where you look. <laughs> but what I want to start out with is I want to say that, as I've explained in another series, I would be very, very nervous about putting my money in a safe deposit box. Now, all it takes is just to look at the way the police operate. So I'm not saying that this is true everywhere in the world, but this is true over here. The government, the, when it comes to the police, the police operate on a fine basis. If they can fine you, they will enforce the law. If they can't fine you, and it's not an emergency, they probably will do nothing. And I've talked to other people about this, where they, they just put their hands up in the air and they just don't know what to do. How can we get the police to cooperate? And their favorite line is, oh, it's a civil issue. You should take it to the courts. When they're saying it's a civil issue, you should take it to the courts. What they're saying is, hey, you can do it on your own. You can collect money out of it. What we're busy doing is we're busy enforcing laws where we can collect a fine, like the, like the traffic. So just, this might sound a little bit over the top to you, but just ask yourself one question. Or actually two questions. When it comes to it, when it comes to them enforcing law, are they happy to enforce traffic fines? And then if they're happy to enforce traffic fines, how about other crimes? If they're so busy enforcing traffic fines, are they, do they have the same level when it comes to other fines? Are they, is their priority to keep your streets safe or is their priority to, well, we need to collect fines to keep us, to keep ourselves going. And this has not happened just yesterday. This has been a progressive thing and it's getting worse and it's getting worse. So what I'm saying here is that on what basis is your safe deposit really safe? Your safe deposit is safe if your government is going to have law and order as the first priority. Can you say that about the police? Can you say that the police's first priority is law and order? That they will they're not really concerned about traffic fines. They don't need the money from traffic fines. They could go on their business without a single traffic fine. Or can you say, well, actually, yeah, I think you sort of got a point. If it wasn't for those traffic fines, they wouldn't be in business. What I'm simply trying to get at is when it comes to it, when your country is really, really broke, and you're running out of money, they have to make sacrifices. And sometimes what they will do is they will say, hey, we'd like to have law and order, but we're running out of money. Okay, police, your priority is to find people. That's what your priority is. That's how you're gonna keep us safe. Because we don't have a lot of money to have you go up and down the street to keep everybody safe. And that's what people are slowly starting to find out. Now, I'm not saying that that's true where you live, but that is totally true where I live. And so what I'm trying to get at is what I can see happening is I can see the day happening where the government is really, really broke and the banks say, hey, we, can, we know the solution to your problems. You just turn a blind eye to us going and taking stuff out of people's safe deposit boxes. So if at the moment, law and order is not the top, 
of the police's priority list. That's as far as this part of the world is concerned. It's just, it's just possible that they might actually do that when it comes to your safe deposit box. So then in that case, am I saying you shouldn't, well I'm not saying you shouldn't put it in a safe deposit box, but I'm saying that it doesn't really sound 100% safe. So then, if you're not going to put it in a safe deposit box, well, where, where, where do you put it? Where do you store it? So with that, I would recommend, and I'm not saying that everybody should put it in one exact place, because then everybody will know that's where you look. But I would actually put it in one of, I would have, do it on a one of two systems basis. Either you want to have it locked, or you want to have it hidden. So if you have a great big safe in your house, and one day the landlord needs to have an inspection, and he sees this great big safe, he's going to think, mm -mm, this person's got valuable things in it. And the way it works in this part of the world, and it probably works like this in other parts of the world, is that the landlord will say, okay, hey, I need to have an, an inspection. He'll set the time. He's required to give you notice. And if you're busy at work, he can just open the door. Now, if you've got a safe, it's, it's safe. But it's not safe from a bomb, is it? And you're busy at work while your landlord is in your house and they're able to see, oh, you've got a safe. There might be, there might be a, a few ways that they just might be able to get into your safe, like maybe a bomb or something like that. Or there might be a thing like bolt cutters or something like that. There's probably some sort of equipment that if it comes to it, they could probably get through your safe. So then in that case, all right, I'm not saying that putting your money in a safe is a really dumb idea, but I might actually pay to sort of keep it in something that will, that will lock it up, but will also be hidden at the same time. So not really, really, really big and bulky, you know, small and hidden. So one possibility would be, suppose you've got a filing cabinet. Okay. If you've got a filing cabinet and you have a lock for it and you put it sort of at the back or at the front or underneath all your files, it's actually quite possible that it's very, very unlikely that someone is actually going to go through your filing cabinet and look through every single file if they're wanting to take it. And it's very unlikely that your landlord's going to do that. Okay. So that would be one sort of possibility. Or it could be that you might put it right beside or at the back of your fridge. Chances are no one's going to be looking there. What about your oven? What about your stove? Right beside or right behind it. If you put it in places where it's hidden, nobody's going to know unless they're really, really looking for it. I'm going to see how much time I've got in this clip.